Hello and welcome back to my walkthrough to Crash Bandicoot here on the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy for PlayStation 4 in the last episode. We got the Platinum Relic for Hogwarts, nice and simple, first time, absolutely beautiful. Now what we have to do is try and get the Platinum Relic here on Native Fortress. So let's just have a quick look at the leaderboard here. We need two minutes five. Two minutes five. That seems like not a lot of time for this level. Um, I guess we'll have to go. Uh, we'll have to go for it and just sort of see what happens. Um, obviously, a huge factors in this one are going to be the spring boxes. Um, obviously, we can't really afford to mess these guys up. like to have that actually there, but oh well. Take to there. Oh no. Confuse that with the later one. Okay. Let's see, do we get any better timing with this? Should have, should have stopped that. Would have think, yeah. Especially since we had to stop at the second one. Would have been far better for us if we had uh, stopped. To the middle, over to here. 29 coming off the first section. Yeah. Okay, so... I wonder if we wait a little bit at the start. Do we actually... Do we actually gain anything there? I don't know whether, whether it's uh, triggered by proximity or whether it's triggered as in where we are in the level or whether it's triggered as of the start of the level. So if it's triggered as of the start of the level we could potentially uh, blitz through a lot of that. Nice. Nice. Bam. I hate these guys. Yeah. Problem is, we're not even getting halfway through the level, so we'll soon have a perfect start, but then not be good enough through the finish. I think we definitely want the Aku. I'm sure the top runs probably ignore the Aku um, because they're just that good. Be about 29 coming off here. Yep. Nice, 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 nice. made it thought I'd made it if I if we'd got across I think it would have been really quite well set going into the top section. Okay. So we were about one minute going into that bit. Oh man. Okay, that's a pretty poor start, but there we go. So yeah, it does seem like they're a bit random there, because that was certainly the first time that that fire's been... I thought we'd make that. I had to jump early to get over the fire, but I had to jump late. Ooh. 
just waited a little at the start just to see if that actually has any effect whatsoever. So it looks like the fire, the, like that monkey and stuff is obviously based on proximity. Oh man. I think we should just wait through those. And if we have to, you know, find out how close we need to get. Find out how fast we are. And then, because I'm sure there are going to be greater time skips, essentially. Like, especially if here I need to wait, because... There we go, nice. Okay, we can jump fully over that fire there. That's really good news. That's much faster. Good. Nope. Ah. We're at, what, 38? So we were even... Yeah, much faster. Last time we died there, I think we were at 30... 43. So, okay. We'll just, um... We'll keep going just to see, um... How we do pattern wise. See, I find that weird. I find that the hitboxes of the fire are really odd. Um, and it's quite irritating, frankly, because you never really know if you're going to get hit by it. I think a huge amount of this level is just going to sort of be survival, getting through it. slower, that's okay. Made a mistake there. It's cost me about what, two seconds? If I get 207, I'll be very in or 206 I should say, I'll be very annoyed. At the same time also rather buoyed because if I get 206 it means I can definitely do this. Nope. You gotta jump immediately after that. I didn't think I'd get over the fire, I think. Beautiful timing. See, I'm at 21, even though that time I had a pretty much flawless run through that section, so it really does not gain me much time. Instead, what I now have to deal with is the fact that I have no active. Which means I have to wait for stuff like that. Careful around jumps like that. Nice. I think those two are fine, so they're always going to screw you over. Nice. Okay, new section. How are we doing? 106. Upon reaching second wall. So if I remember correctly, the uh, spring boxes here are a bit of a pain. Yeah, okay. Man. We lost about 14 seconds there, I think. Nice. Okay, so we've already failed, so yeah. I'm pretty sure you can do that in one go. 
as it is, we've got to keep moving. I think it was 235 for gold, so it looks like we... If I had a good final run, we could have made gold. Which means platinum is really fast. Last box is nothing, okay. So yeah, that's that's really tough. Um, oh boy. Jeez. I mean obviously getting those getting the spring boxes is gonna be far more important. I think um, I think the general scale has sort of been increased ever so slightly, which means that those boxes are slightly smaller relative to the um, the background, as it were, in the original game, which means those jumps are much tougher. But, um, yeah, wow, okay. Um, this is going to be tough. It's going to be tough. But then again... You don't play Crash 1 without appreciating the fact it's going to be tough. That is the only Aku we get through the entire level, so we need to keep this as long as possible. Ah! Just slightly rushed it. It's really annoying that they made that sort of that three bit, that three jumps at the end really, really tight. Like, I reckon you can definitely do it, but I've never been able to do it. Nope. Ah, I hate that jump. Because it's always like, I feel like I can't jump full. Uh, yeah, no, you've got to time that jump there. If you want to avoid that, you've got to time it absolutely perfectly. And that was not perfect. Oh, there is the second Aku, actually. So you can actually get a second Aku if you make the um, jump to the side. I don't think it's going to be worth it. Unless there are two definitive spots down this sequence where... Ah, that's annoying. I mean, there might be two spots down that sequence where we could skip. You know, you could skip sort of sequencing. And that could be very useful. Maybe that one there with the two, and then the one at the end with the three. This is an ideal. I know that works. That works. It's actually faster. It's faster having to wait for the first one and not the second one, and vice versa. I don't know why, but it is. Because we're currently at sub 22, which is lovely. Gotta love that. Sink. Lovely. That's insane. That's not. Neither is that. It's all good. Again, need, need to trust myself that we can actually make that, I think. That is a faster way to spin those vlogs, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> lovely, 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 lovely. 119 going behind. This is definitely going to be faster. I mean, have you seen the rest of this level? I think ultimately we can make a lot earlier jumps onto these flame platforms. Go. Oh. Oh my God. 
No! Oh man, I think that was it. I think if you can climb that in... I think we'd have been okay there. That's definitely where we want to lose our Aki, just there. No, terrible. Just die. I think we're definitely going to need to use that second Aku, that will get lovely timing, or nail that final section. But I've never done that, so... Annoyingly now, we're, we would have been out of sync, but I wanted, I wanted to practice the jump just after that guy. Uh, see if we can actually make it. Because if we can, that's pretty big, I think. If I'm honest. Ah, uh, yeah, that's the one. I keep forgetting, I keep seeing that there and just going, no! Oh. There's definitely a way of clearing that. If you can do that fast, I think. Oh boy, I think we're, we're nearly there, we're nearly there. It's, it's close. No. I really hate the start. I really hate just jumping onto that crate. I think it's really... No! Oh, keep dying there. It's really annoying. I don't think that's... I mean, maybe if I was super aggressive, you could actually get under there. That was the one I thought, but no. So I think if, if I get hit by the fire, I've got to stay above the same one, because it does not propel me far enough forwards. Need these Akus. These Akus are really important. Yeah, you can definitely get under that. You can definitely get under that if you speed it. Which is freaking awesome. Levels like... That was annoying. Levels like uh, Slippery Climb and stuff like that are just going to be like endurance marathons. Because this is a long level. Yeah, okay. So that time, just slightly too slow. It might be a, too much of a risk. Yeah. Ah. When you just start getting frustrated because you're seeing the same thing over and over and over again. It's not being defeated by it. Yeah, there you go. See, look how much faster that is. Oh, that's beautiful. No. And then we throw all of that time away on that one dude who is so freaking annoying. I hate that guy. That was a terrible run. I had a poor start. I mind waiting there. I do mind waiting there if I'm going to get burnt. Eat me. Nom nom nom. <sighs> Don't know, I'm sure I pressed the spin button again, but evidently not. That wasn't clever. Okay. Ah, oh, you're kidding me. I had that one really good run, and since then it's just sort of, like, I'm glad I got up to top level, like, you know, I feel like I've got to, you know, aim to get into top level, I was not paying attention, I was talking. No, again, same thing, same thing I tried last time, I got stuck between two things, I was like, I'm going to jump from the top, and then I'm like, no, I'm going to actually go for it, and then, should always go for it, should always go for it. Unless you're very obviously not going to make it, you should always go for that. Go, go, go. Nice, nice, nice. Bit of a wait, it's okay. Don't feel like this first section is where I'm losing time. It's mainly the second section where I'm losing lives. 
Nice. Jump. There we go. Fast. We've probably been a little bit more on our toes there, but it's all good. I think that's, I think that's generally worth it. Because of the amount of time we pick up. The fact that these guys just stop in place is really annoying. That was cool. I was thinking I'm just going to hit that spike. Ah, come on. Are we going Aku? We're going Aku again. Oh, you're kidding me. Go, go. Ah. Okay, so Aku has cost me uh, probably about ten. five, six seconds there. Maybe even more. Probably a bit more. I think last time we were here we were at like 18 and now we're at... Respectable time. We need to make this work. Yes, yes, yes. We made the three. Okay, cool. Obviously, we've already passed two minutes five. We can definitely get two thirty-five there. Just don't make any mistakes with these jumps. Lovely. Two seventeen. Okay, so we get gold. Jesus. Okay, well. I think for now I'm going to take a break. We're probably going to come back to that level at some point. We're definitely going to try and get that platinum. But, um, yeah, it's uh, irritating me even more. You know, I'm just getting more and more frustrated. So uh, hopefully um, we'll be able to come back and uh, give it another go at another time. So, yeah. We're back here on Native Fortress to try and... I've had my break. Hopefully we can uh, nail this one now. I've seen some uh, nice little strategies uh, used by a few people online. Um, uh, just to sort of make the little bits that, you know, I might be slightly slower at. Ever so slightly faster. That ain't gonna help. So... One of the ones um, that a lot of you guys might want to try is trying to spin as you land on the fire things so that you don't bounce high. It makes the sort of the final three at the end rather easy if you get it right and can be used throughout the level to sort of minimize the amount of time you spend getting hang time. Another thing is apparently if you get the right jump you can um, hit these logs as you jump up. Now, I've no, not been able to do it, as you can see. Which means my time's actually a little slower. But generally, uh, I mean, we had a time previously, yeah, where we got to about a minute-ish going up the second massive... So I think everything um, up to the point so that up to that first section is fine. I would love to be able to, you know, improve the way we hit these. Because I think this is, you know, having to do these little jumps here each time is really slowing us down. Um. At the same time, I think you know, even if you pick up time across the sort of first section, you then actually have to wait a fair amount of time for the various sort of bits of this level to fall into place. Whereas actually when we were slightly slower, we were actually getting everything in nicely in sync. That's nice. 
really nice. Nice. Yeah, so they somehow get like high, uh, you know, high height in their jumps to actually hit those logs. Which I currently don't have. So we are slightly behind, I think, largely just because of those logs. I think we lose about three seconds ish around that time. And then if you saw just there, what I managed to do was land on one of these without bouncing, if you get your spin time just right. Doing so is a lot faster than actually bouncing on these things. Ah, I should have gone again. Because what not having an Aku does there is completely slow you down. And then apparent if you get to that final three box at about 155, you sh you've got like you've got about seven seconds to spare uh, from what I've seen from a few people's runs. So so yeah, that final three box is certainly somewhere to sort of uh, look out for, along with uh, everything else. I'm just sort of getting back into these runs. Um, so obviously we are behind time, and that's really annoying. You can definitely jump over that one as well. Um, ah! Thing is, I can't get these logs to spin it nearly as fast as a lot of other people can. But that doesn't mean that I can't get platinum. Ah, I'm so making that. Man, yep. Ah, come on. All of the retries. Yeah, too early. I'm getting to the point where I'm too fast for the uh, the sequence that I'm following. Yeah, that was too slow. Gotta be really precise with that. If you have the time, do it. Um, maybe if you even have the Aku, do it. Yeah, I got thrown by the fact that I couldn't spin the dude. Too early, miles, miles too early. Not good enough. Oh, you're kidding me. You'd have so much momentum from that first box, and I'm not, rest I'm not starting with such a bad start. Now we can't. I've never landed on that guy before. I don't know why we landed on him, given that I span. They are so small, those things, and you lose track of them so easily because you know I'm reaching for that Aku. I just can't lose the Aku, that's, that's got to be it. I'm going to be safe these first, you know, going up. Could have probably gone there. Would have been a lightning time, as it is we're in the 22s. Bounce on those enemies. You can see we're slower. Shouldn't cost us anything because of that. That's usually where we jump through anyway, so. You have to wait there anyway. I think you can definitely make that. don't know how we didn't get hit there, but we didn't get hit, which is vitally important. 105. Mm. 
One, two, three, four. One nineteen is really good. One nineteen is really good for here. Uh, that's that is sufficiently fast. We should be okay if we get good luck. And if we make all of our jumps. Ah, oh, could have gone that. Probably should have gone there. So that's how you do that. It's going to be really close. I think we're going to miss it. By how much? 208. 208. Oh, so it's really, it is there. It's definitely there. We had our Aku throughout the entirety of that, so the one thing we missed was a damage boost. If we had damage boost through one of those final bits at the end, we would have been fine, I think. Probably the last one is the most reliable one, because if you damage boost through that one, then obviously there's no other ones you need to worry about. So if we hold on to our Aku all the way to the end, and then just hope for the best, we need three seconds. It's like, I know I'm losing a lot of time. I know I'm losing a lot of time to the um, not being able to spin the logs properly. Or fast, I should say. Yeah. I don't know how we did it last time. Last time we got really lucky, I think. Be terrified of that. Yeah. Sometimes there are just ones like that which screw you over and, you know, you can't do anything about it. That was being really, really clumsy. If you're under 23 seconds and you have an Aku, you will be fine. The hitbox for that one is absolutely massive. Oh, come on. Like, if I was like a sec... I could use every millisecond. Ah. Forgot where I was going. Ah. I needed to go for it because we needed to pick up time, but... If I had jumped the first time, we could have probably made over that. Yeah, really not worth it. That was also bad timing there, like, the two things were entirely, you know, out of sync, so... There we go, that's in sync. I, I, I just want the first one to be in sync. If the first one's in sync, then I don't mind about waiting for the second one, because, you know, the wait usually isn't too long, too bad. Nice. Didn't spin soon enough there. It's all good. Yes, okay, so there we go. And again, keep hitting that one. Gotta hope for good... Good RNG now. 116, but slightly slower because we messed that, messed that little bit up. How are we still alive? Oh, this is comp knowing this spin onto those has completely revolutionized the way that you can actually do this level. Okay, 
Come on. Don't mess this up. Yes! Yes! Come on! Oh boy. Ooh, that was really, really close. Yes! Wonderful. Oh, my God. <sighs> my heartbeat was racing up those. I, was, I could have sworn I missed one of those bouncy things. Ah, oh, but there we go. And then just trying to get onto the platform to teleport away. But there we go, there we go, there we go. Yes, yes, yes. That is Native Fortress done. Ooh, okay, so we have all the Platinum Relics up to Temple Ruins. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed this episode. Uh, this is obviously going to be slightly out of sync with the others. Um, because I had to return back to this because it was annoying me so much. But there we go. Platinum for Native Fortress. We have Platinums for everything up to Temple Ruins. Uh, which you'll soon hopefully see. And then in the next episode, we'll be taking on... Well, in the next episode, we'll be taking on Up the Creek. <laughs> which we were, you know, which um, I'll show you Up the Creek. But then um, soon we'll be heading to the Road to Nowhere. So I hope you have enjoyed this episode. And I hope you will join me on the next episode.